working in uh, large-scale transformations in the financial services sector, working for Barclay Card and Capital One in the UK. Uh, I had a career started on e-manufacturing in textiles maybe 25 years ago. Moved into a technical developer role using that techniques. Maybe 15 years agile experience now. I didn't call it agile 15 years ago. I didn't know what I was doing apart from applying a bit of common sense to what we were trying to do. Uh, so it's my school master product owner, working towards my um, professional qualification. I've been coaching now for about five years, on and off. Um, and as I said, yeah, recent engagements at Barclay Card and Capital One. And we see Waterfall creating lots of documentation. Lots of passive handover of documentation, no real conversations. Especially with the offshoring that we're doing at the moment. People get lots of statements of works, requirements, documents sent away. When you actually come to talk, you have that aha moment. In the waterfall approach, this comes right at the end of the project. And you realise that what you have isn't suitable, it's not fit for purpose. So what we do in Agile, as you see all day today, shift this conversation to the left as soon as we possibly can. So, the topic is user story mapping. Now, hope, hopefully everybody knows what a user story is in Agile. But a quick recap, uh, a user story is a very, very tiny requirement. It's a bit of deliverable functionality. Uh, a user story is really a promise to have a conversation. And it's a context, it's set in a context of a user. So as a user, I want to do this, so that. And that forms the basics of the requirements, but it should form the basics of a communication, of a conversation. A user story is not a requirements document. Um, and I'm going to steal a lot of content, quick uh, plagiarism disclaimer, from Jeff Papp. Uh, Jeff wrote a book maybe five, six years ago now, Use Story Mapping. I'll give you a link to it at the end, and we'll use the exercise from there to create the serial. But Use Story Mapping is having a good old conversation, organising the form of a map and visualising the work. And this is mine. It, it's, it's an exercise in shared understanding, communicating and sharing a vision. Process is pretty easy. You get together, as we have now. You get the stakeholders in a room, you get the clients in a room, the customer, whoever is involved in the development of the product, who's had the vision. And you communicate it, you frame the opportunity, what are you trying to achieve? What is that value that you're going to bring by delivering this product, by creating it? And you then tell the story, a user-centric story. What does the user do? What is their experience from the minute they open the browser or the application, whatever it is? How do they log on to the system, for example? Don't dive straight way down into the very, very low level detail of a, an international transaction banking, for example. We do it very, very user centric, keep it to minimal conversation. And we'll do this shortly, we'll go for an exercise shortly. And then we go back and you capture the details, but you capture it from each person in the room. The client will say, We want it to do this. The architect will say, Well, it needs to do this. Here's the high risk stories. And we capture it in this way. And then we slice what we have into some value driven outcomes. So what is that quickest outcome we can get? We see the term MVP on Snagile, minimum viable products. What can we deliver quickly to market that is given to add value? And that's what story mapping helps us to identify. Um, that's it for the slides now. So we're actually going to get on and do something. Okay? <coughs> Any questions so far? <coughs> cool, so I'd like, uh, I'd like four willing volunteers, please. And Andy, you've already been volunteered. Awesome. Thanks, mate. You always come up? No, no, are you okay where you're live? Okay. Any other volunteers? Thank you. Once we've done this, the next step, you guys, that's it now? Okay. It's all busy. Yeah. Um, is to consolidate these. There are going to be some duplicates. Everybody got out of bed at some point. Uh, for a product, for example, users are going to need to log in. Hopefully, everybody would have captured that as a step, as a task. So, what we're going to do now, guys, is if you could take yours, mm -hmm. pop them over here. Those that haven't stuck on yet, if you could put them on here. But as you're doing it, can you just remove duplicates? Yep. So you will mostly have the same ones probably. So if you can stick them on just as a team, just remove any duplicates you have. Yeah. And also discuss as well, this is all about the discussion. So the first thing I did, I snooze the alarm. Uh, yeah. I opened my eyes. Oh uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so your eyes removed, there you go. So I've got another step. Yeah. I snooze my alarm and then eventually I got out of there. Okay. Well, be, right, so open eyes, snooze the alarm. Rush to the washroom. Wash to the washroom. I realised where I was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe, maybe stick that one around here because yep. when, you, when you open your eyes, you probably realise it. 
Yep. And again, we're discussing the tasks, we're discussing the functionality. I packed my luggage first. Okay. Yeah. First thing, got out of bed, packed your luggage. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you get out of bed first? Sorry. You didn't pop to the, the restroom? Or? No, no. You did you no. it from no. bed? The restroom would come I said, okay. I said, it with my luggage. You said, in your luggage. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm way high. That's got to go down there because I've got a lot of things already. <laughs> yeah, I, I searched for a drink um, and uh, crucially headache pills. I think was the end. Uh, got out of bed, searched for a drink, uh, found a drink, found a drink, looked for some headache pills, took pills, and searched for time and the fun. You got a busy morning on this one. I did. It, it was a busy morning. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody do anything else? It, it, no? Well, I called this section to find to put in my luggage. Okay, oh, okay. So you couldn't yeah. yeah. Come on, guys. Yep, chop chop. Keep watching them all. Uh, then breakfast, hopefully. Did you, did, so did I, you get I, dressed before breakfast? I, I, I did get dressed. I, I actually searched my laptop. And a, and a good example on this one, folks, is that some people were at, um, I ate breakfast, and some people also got, I brushed my teeth. So you have a conversation with you each other before my flights. You brush before and after. You get dressed before, you get dressed before eating breakfast. Okay. I've had one person that went to the toilet before we got out of bed. I've dressed here when I don't eat. Okay. I wasn't in the bush when I got dressed up. Then we eat breakfast. Well, I, I, well, I went still hungry, substituted food for coffee um, at events. So I'm, I'm, I'm on the probably home here because yeah, yeah. I think you, you got breakfast. Yeah. So my kind of search for laptops would be similar. Okay. Okay. So move, move these over. But then decided to walk to Hilton for my hotel. Okay. Perfect. So this is the last step when you arrive. Yeah. Okay. So this this goes at the far right. This is this is when you arrive. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the end of the journey. Okay, so far. Um, I turned back to my hotel to get my sunglasses that I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Be 
Uh, there's some drink related things there. So I'm going to say take any drink. Another core activity that we have on this. Um, then there's some getting dressed. I noticed that nobody, uh, nobody had a shower this morning. <laughs> Obviously the client, we want an outcome from this product, from this slice. We want something that's going to add value quickly. So we're going to think of a scenario. Forget the we, I am going to think of a scenario. Okay, and the scenario is we've got some hints on it up here already, is that we're late. The alarm didn't go off. Okay? So this is kind of the MVP. It's the, what, what is the minimum we can do from when we open our eyes to get out of the door? That is going to add massive value if we can get that there. So this is at the one. So this is like your, this is like the, the opening game. This is the opening game of what you're going to do with that. How come one? Uh, get out quick. And if if you want to deliver this slice only, then you would move these tasks down and duplicate these tasks. Okay. But again, it's it's for lots of discussion. We change things. We've added tasks. Okay. And I guess the last thing to do, and we can do this now, is. Outcome three is our ideal morning. It's the end game. It's what we actually want to deliver. Now there's no limit to the number of slices you have on the story map. I wouldn't recommend you go more than three or four because you're going to start delivering these quickly. And again, true agile fashion, as you deliver, you are going to inspect and adapt and things are going to change. Andy? Um, so you always look to do kind of a, 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 silly, right, a minimum MVP kind of an average and then a full, how would you take that to just a, a normal thing? It, it depends on the context, okay. you, just could, you, you could identify MVP, 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 you can keep, keep yeah. incrementing on what you yeah. have, but keep building. Okay. Identify where is the business outcome, mm -hmm. where is the value, show me the money. Okay. That is the first thing. Once you've done this, show me the money again. Tell me what is next, what can we deliver next, let's build on it. Yeah, here's the end. All the criticized. Has a good tool for it, for 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 that. It, it is the, the Moscow criteria. Absolutely, yeah. Must have, should have, okay. could have, and won't have for now. Yeah. Yeah, which yeah. is, uh, if you define the the what means must have, what means yeah. could and should have or, or won't have for now, then you can you know make a map pretty, yes, pretty, pretty yeah. fast. But what you find in this is you have your must haves and should haves, but you, you you could and you won't, you'll never get to the others. Yeah. They always keep getting shifted down because they're not adding true value. Otherwise, they'll be must haves. And that's what this helps you identify very quickly. Okay, so we can see at the bottom here, the ideal is realise the loss, we had a drink, I managed to exercise, I got an espresso, we packed the luggage, had a nice stroll to the hotel, I saw the kids and checked some emails. It's, it's Nirvana. It doesn't really add any business value apart from for me on a nice easy morning. It's not going to deliver value quickly. So we will probably never get to this slice. We would have added a lot to all these tasks to start filling some of these in. Or maybe by the time we deliver the first two slices, we we'll further uh, divide the third slices into two more. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We divide this again. We revisit this. So this is a living document. It's not. A, it's not something fixed in stone. This is constantly revisited as you are delivering. Again, inspect and adapt.